Well, good old Jeffrey Grubb is at it again. Well, okay, maybe we shouldn't start that way, although that is where this rumor is coming from. <sighs> You're going to have to strap in. He's just talking about how confident he is in Metroid Prime 4 coming this year. We're going to get into that because, look, we obviously have the Nintendo Direct Partners Showcase today, and this isn't going to be a video going over all the announcements. I'm not one of those people that likes to do recap videos on Directs that we're already live reacting to. And, look, honestly, by the time the recap video would come out, you guys could just watch the Direct. It's 25 minutes long, so it's not even that long. And, on, you know, just go watch it yourselves, right, or go watch our reaction to it. That being said, what I want to focus on today is actually something that happened during the Direct because as all of us content creators and news outlets and everything are out there live reacting to these Directs, sometimes things are said and things are said in interesting ways. Now, one game that was a complete surprise that PRO did not leak for this same Direct is Epic Mickey Rebrushed. Now, look, I really enjoyed Epic Mickey back in the day. I realize it's only a game that, you know, scored down in the 70s, and some people had some issues with the controls. They were a little wonky back then. Of course, we're talking Wii era stuff here, so I totally understand. But honestly, I really enjoyed the game. I love the concept of it. I felt there was some really good level designs. The boss fights were really engaging. Yeah, I could have used some polish around the edges, and obviously we're hoping that Epic Mickey Rebrushed has that polish around the edges today but this isn't really about that game but this game needs to be brought up because jeff grubb said this on their live reaction on giant bomb you're right i just could see the hero. the pixels and stuff because it's a switch game i'm being it still, it still looks like a remaster of a week like i will say that right. this being confirmed gives me more confidence Next, that we'll get metroid prime 4 this year look at this <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's related. About it, yes it, 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 it is because that's i got the rumor from the same place so there you have it really short and sweet jeff grubb saying he has source or sources he doesn't really clarify but he had heard about epic mickey rebrush and just kind of forgot to say anything about it maybe because he wasn't that excited and all of a sudden that particular source has apparently told him about metroid prime 4 coming out this year which is quite fascinating because if you pair this in with all the switch to delays that would make it sound like maybe this holiday season or some point this year we have metroid prime 4 coming along with some sort of thing from pokemon now we have pokemon presents next week on february 27th so we'll speculate about that stuff tonight on the nintendo prime podcast but what I really want to focus on right now is this idea of Metroid Prime 4 coming this year. Look, Metroid Prime 4 was announced all the way back in 2017, which is awesome. I, I actually, you know, it was a really neat announcement. It was something that made a lot of Metroid fans really excited coming off of the Metroid Samus Return stuff. And, well, Prime Federation Force, let's be honest, it really uh, made people get kind of mad at Nintendo. So here we are with, hey, here's Metroid Prime 4 and it's coming. And then you fast forward, you know, into spring or really not even spring, super early in 2019. And all of a sudden, hey, we're delaying this game because we have switched development partners and Retro Studios is now going to be making the game. That's really cool. We've heard a lot of rumors and reports around how that happened and maybe it was Bandai Namco and... I don't really understand all of the ins and outs because this is all behind the scenes stuff that we can't confirm. But what I do find fascinating is obviously that that was all the way back in 2019 and we're in 2024. And this, again, that means that this game is being developed primarily during the heart of the Nintendo Switch era. But at the timing of its release, it might make more sense to actually delay the game and put it on Nintendo Switch 2. Now, we've had other things crop up over time, including the fact that we know the game's at least been in testing and polishing phases since March of last year because they hired somebody who literally in their profile said they were working on polishing Metroid Prime 4 at Retro Studios on LinkedIn. So we already have evidence that, hey, look, this is the thing that's been happening. It's been in game testing, yada, yada, yada. So, look, the game's probably done, right? Metroid Prime 4 is at least... If not done, it's in a state where uh, it's probably much more polished than most AAA games that come out, to be honest. And a lot of us just figured maybe this will be a dual release at this point for Switch and Switch 2. So you get it at the same time on both platforms. They've done this before with Twilight Princess, did it before Breath of the Wild and others. So yeah, maybe this will just be a cross-generation title. But then Switch 2 gets delayed out of this year. And then people start to wonder, well, could Metroid Prime 4 actually still come this year? Now, they gave us Metroid Prime remaster last year great looking remaster and really sets the bar pretty high for what metroid prime 4 is going to bring from a visual and gameplay perspective metroid prime 4 is widely considered one of if not the best metroid game ever made so i find all of this just to be 
fascinating when you throw it all together and think about could Metro Prime 4 come this year? Again, this is just a rumor. I don't know if Jeff Grubbs correct. Look, Jeff Grubbs obviously was correct that Metroid Prime Remastered existed and that Metroid Prime Remaster was like a big deal remaster. Like it wasn't just a fresh coat of paint. They actually put some real work into it. And while he was wrong on it coming out in 2022, it literally came out two months into 2023 as a shadow drop. So uh, look, we can give him, you know, some flack for getting it wrong on when it was going to come out, but also got to give him some credit on what he said about the game and the kind of remaster it was going to be and that it even existed at all and was ready because clearly... Two months into 2023, it didn't suddenly get more ready. They shadow dropped the damn thing. Look, well, they usually announce games before shadow dropping, so I was obviously ready to go. Nintendo just, for some reason, wanted to shadow drop it after the holidays. And when we look at Metroid Prime 4 situation, where we haven't even seen the game, right? We have a logo. There's a piece of art floating around with Retro Studios that they put out years ago, but... Look, we don't have any real new information. The information we do get is a lot of speculation based on hiring posts, based on companies they're working with. Like, I know Super Metal Day 64 dropped a new video recently with, with, with some news and stuff around Metroid Prime 4, but all the stuff we're talking about with Metroid Prime 4 is still all, like, hypothetical. Like, yes, it comes from hiring posts. Yes, it comes from employee profiles. But that's what we're resorting to because we haven't seen this damn thing. We don't know anything about Metroid Prime 4 truly like now you know like Super Mario Day floated out there that it might be on Unreal Engine and that's really cool if it is but I, I just don't understand why we haven't seen this game yet so I find it fascinating that if they're going to show it this year fine maybe it's at the next Nintendo Direct which is again we have one rumored for April from uh, the same person who started all the stuff about it being delayed to 2025 and I understand some people hate the word delay it was never publicly announced it was never publicly announced can it really be delayed internal delays are a thing I know this because I've had internal content delays myself, so without you guys even knowing anything publicly, so if I'm having internal delays at times as a content creator, what do you think a game development studio is doing? They always have targets and miss those targets and internally delay things. Anyways, the point is, whether or not Switch 2 comes out this year or next year, he seems to be saying that, hey, my source on this was 100% correct and seems like a more recent source since Jeff Grubb is saying that he really does believe that Metroid Prime 4 is going to come out this year, so... Where does this leave me, good old Nintendo Prime? Well, it leaves me much in the same place I was before the video started. I wanted Metroid Prime 4 to come this year. Then I was like, man, maybe they should hold off for Switch 2 because it should be a cross-gen release. But then, man, Switch has like a really light lineup so far. Even after the Partner Direct, as awesome as it is, Endless Ocean and everything else, it's still not like an, you know, a super exciting lineup, right? It feels like a lot of filler games, which is... Mostly what a lot of reports that we're going to be getting this year are a bunch of filler kind of titles. And Metroid Prime 4 is not a filler title. At least I'll never view it as a filler title. Even if it only goes on to sell 3 million copies like Metroid Dread did, I still can't feel like that's a filler title to me. I don't know. I understand sales-wise it can feel like a filler title. Metroid have never been like mega sellers. But I just, you know, a game that's been in development this long, I just can't find that to be a filler title. And that's why I think it might be best served to do a dual release on Switch 2. But again, you know, at some point, you just got to release games that are ready, and Switch could use some games this year. So Metroid Prime 4, maybe they're just going to launch it now, get an enhanced version later on Switch 2 and call it a day. Maybe Switch 2 will even be announced before they announce Metroid Prime 4 for this year. That's entirely possible, and then they're already letting us know that, like, hey, if you buy this on Switch, don't worry, backwards compatibility, upgrade with Switch 2, you get the enhanced version for free. I don't know. I'm just throwing ideas out there. I don't know what's going to happen. You let me know what you think about this down in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next video.